Nah, it's been crazy. Hard. I've been <laughs> running around with my two-year-old trying to find water. And it's really hard because most of the places are already out of water by the time that I realized the situation was going on. Um, if it wasn't for the emergency places like that were handing out waters at the Winfield Courthouse and stuff, then I wouldn't have any water, honestly. People were just buying out everything, not just the water, but like they were preparing for some kind of apocalypse or something. And I couldn't find plates or spoons or anything like that. That was difficult. Um, where we can't wash dishes or anything, it's really hard. So, especially the two-year-old, because she eats a lot. So, why do you think you found out so late? It was not publicized like it should have been. They should have been calling people and letting them know, like inform them, or have people come to people's doors or post signs or have the alarm go off, like the city alarms that are supposed to go off during state of emergencies. That didn't go off. And uh, nobody knew about it really, unless they had TV, and I don't even have TV. So, because we don't watch television. So I had no idea that was going on until my uh, friend's mother informed me. So, and that was difficult because we'd already taken showers in it and drank the water and all that. So, how do you feel about them not letting us know earlier about this? Like, what are yeah. your emotions? Aggravated. Very aggravated. Especially for people who have small children. It makes it harder for them because the effects um, that they said were for adults. They didn't say how it affects infants and children, so they could be magnified, and that worries me. So what would you like to see done now? Well, I like the fact that they're giving out water and stuff. That's really helpful, but I'm kind of aggravated about the riots and stuff, about people taking everything out of the stores. So what would be your message to other West Virginians who don't have water right now? Definitely stop going to the stores and starting riots and go to these uh, Red Cross places that are actually giving out water for free so you don't have to waste all your money. Um, how do you feel about the media's response to it? I know you don't have television, so what what sources have you used? I did go to my friend's mom's house and uh, watched the news there yesterday evening, and I was really upset about the way that this guy was speaking about how he didn't want to say anything because he was tired and he didn't, had nothing else to say, and it was really aggravating because, like the reporter said, Everybody else who had who did not have water was also really tired. And you're talking about the president of Freedom Industries in the press conference. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you think people, you know, outside of this area need to know about this situation? Well, for one, that we're a state. Because <laughs> some people are calling us Virginia still. Um, it's good to be recognized now, but also it's um, really. I don't want to say prideful, but I'm really glad that people are actually bringing in water from other states to help us when we're in a city cri or a state crisis.